fire in the hole. The gold production process is a complex and multi-stage operation that involves mining, extracting, refining, and smelting. Mining. The first step in the gold production process is to mine the gold ore. The process of extracting gold from its natural state in the earth is known as gold mining. This can be done through open pit mining or underground mining. Open pit mining is used for large deposits of gold ore that are close to the surface, while underground mining is used for deeper deposits. After the gold ore is mined, it undergoes a series of steps to extract and purify the gold. Crushing and grinding. Once the gold ore has been mined, it is crushed and ground into a fine powder. Crushing and grinding are essential steps in the gold production process. They involve breaking down the mined gold ore into smaller and smaller pieces until it becomes a fine powder. This can be done using various crushing machines. Grinding. Once the ore has been crushed, it is then ground into a fine powder. This process increases the surface area of the ore, making it easier to extract the gold particles. This powder is then mixed with water to create a slurry. Concentration. The next step is to concentrate the gold in the slurry. The gold powder is separated from other minerals using various concentration methods. It involves mixing the gold ore powder with water and other reagents to create a uniform suspension that can be efficiently processed for gold recovery. This can be done using a number of different methods, including gravity separation, flotation, and leaching. Gravity separation is based on the fact that gold is heavier than the other minerals in the slurry. When the slurry is passed over a screen, the gold particles will settle to the bottom, while the other minerals will be carried away with the water. Leaching. Leaching is based on the fact that gold can be dissolved in a solution of cyanide. When the slurry is mixed with a cyanide solution, the gold particles will dissolve into the solution. The gold can then be recovered from the solution using a process called electrolysis. Smelting. The concentrated gold is then smelted to remove the impurities. This is done by heating the gold to a very high temperature, which causes the impurities to melt and separate from the gold. Smelting involves melting the gold-bearing material to a molten state, where impurities can be separated and removed. The specific smelting process depends on the composition of the gold-bearing material. Common methods include flux smelting. Fluxing agents, such as silica and borax, are added to the gold-bearing material to lower the melting point and promote the formation of a slag layer that traps impurities. Purpose of flux smelting. The primary purpose of flux smelting is to separate gold from the other minerals and impurities present in the gold-bearing wall. By creating a molten slag layer, flux smelting allows gold to collect at the bottom of the furnace while the slag, containing the impurities, floats to the top. Coupelling. For gold-bearing materials containing significant amounts of silver, coupelling is used. The gold-silver mixture is melted in a cupel, a porous absorbent material, where silver oxidizes and absorbs into the cupel, leaving behind pure gold. Refining. The final step in the gold production process is to refine the gold. This is done by heating the gold to a very high temperature and then passing it through a series of filters to remove any remaining impurities. The refined gold is then poured into molds to create bars or coins. Casting. The refined gold is then cast into various forms, such as bars, coins, or jewelry, using molds and appropriate casting techniques. The shape and size of the cast gold depend on the desired application. 
Smelting and refining are critical steps in the gold production process, as they transform impure gold-bearing materials into pure gold with high purity and desirable properties. Pure gold is essential for its applications in jewelry, coinage, electronics, and other industries. These bars and coins are then sold to banks and other financial institutions. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more great content.